We got a drum. It's a Civil War drum you just can't beat. No, you could. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here today to sell my Civil War drum my father gave me 30 years ago. My father being an antique dealer, we have so many antiques, this won't even make a dent. I want the drum to go to somebody that can really appreciate it. OK, yeah, it's definitely cool, man. The way it was, when you were out on the battlefield, they would have a different drum beat for, for different commands. Attack, retreat, go move left, move right. Generally, younger boys would be carrying these around. Sure. But it was a gnarly job. From my understanding, you didn't want to be the drummer boy. The enemy knew that if they took the drummer boy out, it'd be hard for them to arrange and organize. Everything about the Civil War was just bad anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was just, it was a brutal, brutal war. So I imagine the drummer boy would be, it'd be tough. Some people have referred to the Civil War as the boys' war because so many of the soldiers were children. The commander basically looked at him and says, you're too young to carry a gun, it's too damn heavy. Here, here's a drum. Is there any reason why you think this is from the Civil War? I've seen other examples. It, it seems to, to be Civil War. OK, well, we know it's not a Revolutionary War, because the whole American symbol thing hadn't been invented yet, because we had to win the war first. Sure. Um, there's been repairs to it, I can tell you that. Really? That's post-1900 hardware right there. Right. Um, this right here, um, a newer piece. This may be as original right here. See, it's all rotting and everything like that. You would never expect this thing to be 100% original if it, was, sure. if it was used. OK. And how much do you want for this thing? 12,000. There's been a lot of repairs done to it, and I still got to figure out the date on it. So if you don't mind, I would like to call a friend of mine in. He will know everything about this. All right, great. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. So hang on. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. So this is the drum I called you about. Oh, very nice. He claims it's from the Civil War. All right. You know, the youngest drummer in the Civil War was nine. Whoa. Yeah, a fellow named John Clem. He was a little tiny kid. Sure. You know, and you look at him and you think, you were on the battlefield. The bombs going off and the bullets flying, beating on the drum to make sure that the regiments were going where the general wanted them to go. It's a huge role to play in it. Sure. But if you were a drummer, this was part of what defined you on the battlefield. So people would hold on to these. They're a very nice display item, and they are in private and public collections. What do you think? Is it of Civil War era? Um, I don't think so. OK. I think this is a later piece. My guess is 1870s, 1880s. Okay. And this looks to me like one that would have been used as a parade drum post-Civil War. It's still 19th century, I'm sure of that. Doesn't mean it couldn't have been in the Civil War, but I don't believe so. OK. But there is a market for them. There are people that collect 19th century drums. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. See, I told you you're smart. Very smart. Nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how much do you want for it now? Well, you know, he did say it was possible it was used in the Civil War, and it's possible I could graduate from Harvard. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the fact of the matter is, it's not Civil War, OK? I'm looking at 500 bucks. You know, um, I can understand not 12,000, but 500. You know, this is a piece of Americana. When you sell something, you sell a story. The story previously was is you had a young boy in battle during the Civil War. We have now the story is once every four or five months, they pulled this drum out and they paraded down the street. Those are the differences between them, and those are the differences people pay. I'll tell you what, what I'd do. I'd, I'd sell it for $1,000, but I, I can't sell it for anything less. I'll tell you what, I'll go 900 Meet me in the middle, 950, and it's done. All right, I'll do the 950. Cool. Sounds All good. All right. I accepted the 950 because it does take up too much space in my house. And with the kids and the dogs, I figured I would accept his offer.